Hey everyone, in this video we will explore how to create new data fields based on existing values using Metabase's custom column feature. So what you can do with custom columns or when you can use them. You can use them when you want to do manipulation for a string. For example, you want to extract a part from a URL. Also, you can use them when you want to do date calculations, such as calculating the number of days between two dates. And actually, that's my favorite one I use every time whenever I'm dealing with dates. I create a new custom columns and I get what I want. Also, you can use them when you want to do math operations, like adding or dividing column values. This is very useful when you have a lot of numerical data and you would like to calculate the total or a discount of something. It's a very handy one. And the last one, you can use them when you want to use the if-then logic to create a conditional statement based on your data. Now, just to clarify, creating custom columns in Metabase is not the same as the doing aggregations like counting and summing values. Also, you can use expressions in the custom columns and you can use them in your chart and you can filter them and even you can summarize them. Now, let's dive in and show you how you can do it in Metabase. We will be using the analytic event table that you can find it in our sample database. So you, to create a new custom column, you can create it from this table view directly, or you can create it from using the query builder when you want to use the custom expressions, which I will show you later. So let's say, for example, you want to extract the hours from this timestamp. Um, press on the heading, click on extract, and here Metabase is asking you which part you want to extract, and let's select the day, I mean the hour of the day. And now you can see we have a new column has been created for the hours, and then you can use this hours to analyze the event, for example. Another example, um, let's take the page URL column. Uh, here you can extract the domain or the host or the subdomain. Let's extract the host, for example. And yeah, now we can see I have a new column. Again, this is not real data, but with your data, it will make more sense. But what if you want to extract um, another part of the URL, not the host um, or the domain? In this case, we have to create custom column in the query builder. Let's open the query builder. And here you can see that we have the two columns have been created, the hours of days and the host and here under the custom columns. So I want to, let's check the table again and this page URL. Okay, I want to extract the, pa uh, the path segment of the URL after the slash. Um, let's add a new custom column. Here you need to add a custom expression. You can check our docs for all the custom expressions that you can use it with Metabase. And in this case, we will use the regular expression extract, which only works with strings. Let's add the column name, which is the page URL. And we want the part after the slash. So add slash dot. Okay, and let's name it as URL path. Okay, refresh. And now we can see that we have a new column has been created for the URL path. All right, let's check another example. And let's say we want to know how many days between the event and the account creation time. Um, so let's add a new column. And here we want to calculate the differences, difference between the two dates. So write um, date and select date time difference, uh, the expression, this one. Okay, so we need to add the first date, which is actually the event time, which is, it's called the timestamp column. That's we need to add it. And we need the account creation time, which is actually coming from another table, which is the account table. And then we need to add the unit. Let's put day. And let's name this column as days since creation. Press refresh and then you can see the days here. But what if you want to see them in weeks? You can put weeks into this expression. Um, the, the days expression, but this will only give you integer number of weeks. Instead, you can do math operation on these numbers by dividing them by seven. So let's create a new column again. Uh, let's add the days since creation, uh, days since creation divided by seven and name it as weeks since creation. And here's a number of weeks. Okay, finally, let's label the accounts as the new members and the existing members based on how much time has passed since the account creation. So let's say, for example, uh, any account that have been created less than two weeks, then we will label it as a new. Other than that, we will call it as old or existing one. So here we need to use the logic expression case. And uh, our condition will be weeks since creation less than two. If it was a true, name them as a new. And if it's not, name them as existing. We will call this column as account status. And now we can know who is the new member and who is not. Okay, the last thing I want to show you um, that you can use these columns as 
if they are were normal columns. So let's go to the table view. And for example, let's filter our account uh, to show only the new P members. And then let's see the distribution of these accounts from which URL path they come from. You can see the metabase created a bar chart for us showing the distribution of these accounts. And there you have it. With metabase, you can easily create custom columns to get the insights what you need. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumb up and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.